Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nastasia. Um, I'm just going to jump right into it. In today's video, I'm going to film all of the coloring supplies that I use. So first things first, we're going to start with the pencils. These are the cases that I use. Um, I've had them for a couple years now. They work pretty great. They hold very large pencil sets. Um, I got both of mine off of Amazon. So the first pencil set, a uh, high quality pencil set that I ever got was Prismacolor 150. And my husband actually bought this for me. He told me that if he got a raise that he was waiting for at work, that he'd go out that very day and pick me up this set. So that was a really big surprise. And then in the back here, I have these tritone pencils, and you can see that the core tip has three different colors, so it kind of they give you like a really cool effect. So I have a few of those. So Prismacolors are wax based. Now moving on to my oil based pencil set. I have it in a gray pouch here. And Here they are, beautiful pencils. If I had to pick a favorite pencil, I think I would pick these. And then in the back, I have some um, Ink Tense pencils. I had a small set, and then when we went to Tennessee, they had an art store that let you buy them individually. So I picked up some of my extra greens and blues there. Then I have a few of these um, pastel Tombow markers. They're double-ended, so it has a brush tip. And then the other side here has a fine tip pen. Um, pen. I don't normally use these for coloring books, just because I feel like they bleed through a lot of pages, but I will use these for journaling and things. And then I have a pencil extender and this little nail polish dotter that I'll use to add details. Let me just set that in there. Next I have a container here of extra pencils. So a lot of these were my grandmother's um, that I inherited, and then a few, mostly my um, extra polychromos are just small sets that I've received. And then I do have a pack of twistables. I really like these. If you're not a fan of having to sharpen, they're, they're really fun to use. Um, you just have to watch because the, it seems like with twistables, um, the tooth of the paper gets filled up a lot faster, so you have to really be light on your layers if you're trying to get multiple colors into it. Okay. Next are my fine liners. I keep them in this touch new marker case that I have, so I love using fine liners with coloring. I do the stippling effects. My favorite brand is Stadler. Um, Tri Plus Fine Liners, and you can buy them in pretty large sets. I got mine at Michael's. Um, and then I have some of these Caser Color gel pens. Hope I'm saying that right. Super cute. They have um, a little gem on each pen, and the tip is really fine. You can see. They're fun. I, again, I use these mostly for journaling or, oops, dropping my pen, or for small details in the books. That's mostly what I find myself doing with those. I have one or two of these um, Stabilo fine points. I love the little swan on the cap. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there she is. Love that little touch. And then lastly, I have a set of twin tones, and again, these have a um, fine liner 
and the tip is really really fine plastic tip and then they have a like basic marker tip so those are all my pens just kind of give you some I have double these in Michaels and some other hobby stores I know you can buy them individually so if you run out of a color you don't have to buy the full set again all right <clears throat> I have been asked before what sealant I use on my pages so that when I close the book, the pencils don't move at all. This is the one that I use, I just a clear sealer, and it has a spray top. So I'll just set a blank page on either side and under the book so that um, pages I haven't colored yet don't have this on it. Works great, dries super fast does give off a little bit of an odor though so if you're sensitive to that I just do it in a well ventilated area next I have a few paints this is mostly for detail work so at Michaels they sell these glitterific paints from folk art um, this one's in the color pink neon so I have a few of these I have black opal They're really, really pretty. Just make sure that you clean the brushes off very well after you use it because it, they'll ruin your brushes if you're not careful. Very neon. Love this one. Tangerine neon. What a pretty color name as well. Gotta hand it to them. And then clear hologram. And then I also have this one from Folk Art, Dragonfly Glaze. So it's red violet to blue shift. And this is, it's really neat. It's subtle, but I, I enjoy using that as well. Let me move these. Okay. And then finally here, I have this art box that I keep my extra supplies in. I got this from Michaels on sale. So it locks like this, and then it has a handle that you can pick it up with, and it has two um, cases. Sorry if you hear the neighbor's kid screaming in the background. I live in an apartment complex, so can't really help those things all the time. So in the first tray, I kind of keep my easy grab stuff. I have this twist and sharp, and it gives you different thicknesses for your lead. I've used this for a couple years now and honestly I, I really wouldn't go with any other pencil sharpener. I know a lot of colorists use all, like automatic or electric pencil sharpeners. This one always seemed to work for me. My only complaint is it gets clogged up a lot but typically I can take a needle, sewing needle, just get that out. And then I have some extra eraser bits go through a lot of erasers um, and then I have I'm not sure what these are called but the little paper blenders go through these pretty fast because um, I actually use Gamsol to blend my oil um, pencils with and so I use these pretty often then I have a little baby colorless blender from Prismacolor in this next, I have some stickles. I've just recently gotten into stickles. There was a sale on them, and I've wanted to try them for a while. I've used cheaper versions, but I'll tell you what. Um, stickles are actually really, really nice to use and to have. I would recommend trying them if you're on the fence. So I have this pink color. I have a yellow very pretty like tangerine green with um, blue specks in it. Then we have a clear glitter, a silver glitter. This is a cool one. It has purple and blue glitters. A darker blue. A um, 
it looks red on camera it's kind of maroon dark maroon and then finally I have a gold one so I've been getting a lot of use out of those I actually typically hand make all of my Christmas cards and so I've been um, using stickles for all of those details so I'm just setting these aside here need to clean this and then I have a few washi tapes one with cats little flowers love swans that was like the theme for my wedding and then this blue one in here you'll see I have two little paint trays these are extras from a set that I um, didn't keep all of them I only really liked these two and you'll see I have a, a watercolor set that gets the job done and then in this section this crazy section I have a sharpie marker I have a jelly roll in white this is the pen I typically use for highlights quick highlights I have a um, let me see if I can open this with one hand this it, you can write with ink with it it's just an ink pen so you dip it in that's what the tip looks like and the container the case is really nice my mom got this for me I have a watercolor paintbrush so you fill it with water and then you can just start painting right away I use that a lot this is my this is my um, what's it called lead pen or lead pencil and you just load it up got this from Tennessee as well when we were on a business trip really cute and then I have three of these touch new pens those are the colors that I have um, the re I had a whole set of the blue and that's what that ba bag that my pens were are in but the reason I didn't keep all of them is actually my sister-in-law does marker art and so she'd get a lot more use out of them than I will and then I have four of these Faber-Castell um, pit artist pens I've, I've only used them in journals I haven't tried them in coloring books but I imagine that they'd work pretty well if you were working on paper that was thick I have a pilot black pen a few more of my larger paper blenders pack of lead for my pencil and then lastly here I have these sparkle pens Pentel sparkle pens added a lot of detail I did a lot of pages in summer nights using these as well and then I have a little tiny paintbrush so, oops sorry I just dropped the camera so then if you go in the bottom tray here I actually decorated that was stickers but then if you go on this bottom tray see I kind of have my bigger supplies I have a Winsor and Newton um, a watercolor set let me see if I can give me one second there we go sorry about that I have this Winsor Newton water set and it actually came with a little um, paintbrush and then you can see those colors so I have these all of these colors and then the two the pink and the skin tone and then I have this art philosophy watercolor palette as well and these are more of a sparkle pretty inexpensive I think this was between 12 and 15 dollars um, and then I just have an extra paintbrush and finishing up this tour I have some bleed proof white I use different white um, paints depending on if I used wax or oil based pencils and then I have this acrylic 
um, Academy white paint. And finally, I have a container of my blending medium. I just fill it with Gamsol. I know that it says W for water, but it's not water. And then I have a few of these inks that I like to add details with. I have a gold. I have this silver. I have a neon orange. A neon yellow. I have this iridescent, um, what's it called? Iridescent orchard or orchid <laughs> and a neon pink. Um, I have a few other small supplies, but this is mostly what I use when I'm coloring. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day and a safe and happy holiday. Thank you.